let's talk about something real quick if we can. Um, that's a hot topic. The um, stimulus check. A lot of people are getting their stimulus checks. So, um, you know, this might be the first opportunity. It was some jokes online about like, I'm going to get the stimulus and I'm going to buy the ocean and get the LLC. <laughs> that's funny. That. You want Ruth Chris to bring out the food for you? <laughs> and then with the other half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 you know, um, in all, in all jokes, there's some level of like truth. So this is an opportunity for some people that, mm-hmm. you know, they might be their first opportunity to invest. You know, it's not anything that's going to be life changing, but mm-hmm. they might be able to invest a thousand dollars for the first time. Like, mm-hmm. They might've been piled up on bills. They might've been, you know, just yeah. living day to day. And this is an opportunity for them to get, you know, additional couple thousand dollars. And now they might put, be able to put a thousand dollars. So, yeah. And so, for some families that they can earn up to 8,200 depending on how much they make and if they have t- children. I know a family of four that makes under 150,000, I think you can get up to 8,200. So you're talking about, even if you invest half of that, that's a, a very nice starting point for somebody to be investing. So the next question is, okay, like if I never invested, I got a stimulus, I got a couple thousand, a thousand, whatever, where should I invest? So I'll let everybody give their two cents on it. But we spoke about before index funds is always a great way, especially for new investors, beginners, um, you know, the Russell 2000, the S&P 500, um, are two probably of the, the main indexes for investors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're just starting out, you've never invested ever. This is an easy way where you can go. There's no fees, no commission. Um, you can invest your money and now at least you can get your feet wet. And then also if you want to have start investing for your child, mm-hmm. you know, we spoke about this before, but you know, every week there might be somebody new that's watching. So of course you can open up a 529 plan. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in investing for your child's education, each state offers their own 529 plan, depending on which state you live in, you get a tax benefit for that state, or you can invest in an UTMA, which is a custodial account. And once again, you can invest in an index fund. You can invest in ETFs, which we talk about a lot, or you can invest in some of the companies that, you know, are the most obvious, Apple, Google, things of that nature, Microsoft, things of that nature. So, you know, like I said, we want to, we talk about a lot of advanced stuff, high level stuff, but we can never forget that somebody, somebody's watching that has never invested and they might be their first time watching. So we never want to go too fast that we're leaving people behind. Yeah. And and it's the same thing that that we've always said. Obviously we said, and Ian has reiterated every Monday, right? Two indexes, two texts. And I always tell people, yes, that's true. But if you're trying to find which are the companies that you should do, it, if you're looking at tech, I always tell you, look around you. What are you investing in? Where are you spending your money? Are you shopping on Amazon? That's a yep. publicly traded company. Please invest. Do you have Apple products? Are you watching us right now on a MacBook? Do you use an iPhone? If you're listening to us, are you on earbuds? If you're doing all those things, you're already investing in the company. You're already a consumer in the company. Why not be an owner in the company? And so those are the things that you should look at if you're looking at tech or where are you spending your money, right? And I love, you know, we had this conversation with people, we talked about Domino's being a tech company. Like if you're spending yeah. every Friday, you're getting your kids Domino's, you probably should invest in it. Their run Nike, is crazy. If, if Nike's a company that you're buying every month for your children and they're reporting their earnings this week, you probably should own some sock in Nike. Don't overcomplicate it. Follow your money. You know, it's a super sleeper, Samuel Adams. You guys go look at the ticker S A M. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like Tesla. Wait, you gave it the Ooh baby? Oh baby. Like, <laughs> like if I call something that I really messed up, Novavax and Sam Adams, I should have called last year. Um, Sam Adams chart is insane. If we go through charts tonight, I'll show it. And then AMD for those of you who are new at 64 is good. You gotta hold it for a five year period. But Sam Adams, you wouldn't think it would be one of those companies that are so dominant. But them and Domino's, I mean, it's pizza and beer. I mean, it sells itself. But AMD at 64 is a good one um, as well. But you have to hold for five years. Kevin Kevin Plan on YouTube said, can you show us step by step on how to get started? So I'm going to do this in two steps. So Kevin, this is for you. Um, you open up TD Ameritrade. You download the app. TD Ameritrade is free. No, TD Ameritrade is not the only app. You can do Fidelity, you can do Robinhood. I'm just using it as an example. You yeah. download TD Ameritrade, right? You open up, you're gonna open up a brokerage account. They're gonna give you like different options of what kind of account you wanna open up. You can open up an IRA account. You can open up a Roth IRA account. You can open a custodial account. But if you wanna just start with yourself, 
you open up a brokerage account, they're going to ask you like a bunch of different questions, your level of investment, how much money you make, da, 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 da. pretty self-explanatory. You answer those questions. Now, once you have it up and running, you have to link your bank account. You link your bank account information with the brokerage account that allows you to transfer money. You transfer money from your bank account. It's going to go into your broker account. Take a couple of days. When it gets there, you can buy an index. SPY is the S&P 500 index. You type in SPY and it's going to say buy. And then you buy it. <laughs> that's, well, that's, we talked about it before. Maybe we should just do it live next week. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's kind of self-explanatory, but yeah. we, we can if, yeah. if, if that's needed. We have di- my teachers, right? <laughs> we have different types of learners. We have some visual, some yeah. auditory, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So so yeah. So hopefully that was that was helpful. Um, yeah, you know, because there's always somebody that's like, "Well, teach me. You don't show me how." <laughs> Try trying to open trying to. open the account for me. Well, that's the next thing. That's the next thing. Um, can, I want to I want to just bring somebody on for for a few minutes uh, um, because there was some some breaking news that broke out and um, this might affect a lot of people so we have to always educate at always at every given moment. Let's see if our boy's here. Is he there? Mm, not yet. Damn, man, that's a oh. sleeper, man. And for those of you that are in the crypto space, we are not going to ignore that. Crypto went up to sixty two thousand yesterday. We're not going to ignore Bitcoin. That. Bitcoin went up to sixty two thousand yeah. yesterday. It pulled back. It's at fifty six uh, six right now. Uh, and we're not going to ignore that. In the past six days, that you know that topic we kept talking about with Mark Cuban and Gary V. NFT has been on fire. <laughs> That's all they're putting out is NFT NFT content. Uh, I mean, I read yeah. Business Insider. They had an NFT section on Sunday. I read Wall Street Journal. They had an NFT section, not an article, a section. Uh, I read Forbes, same thing, 69 $69 million purchase of digital art. Don't let that go over your head. I gotta talk to that guy. Um, Bibble? Bibble. Bibble. He's he's the guy right now. Um, GBTC at 37 is a a decent entry. And kudos to the Zellia Banks for selling their auditory sex tape for it. The whatever crazy amount of set. Hey, wait, what? What? What did she do? Well, I got my son here. Ian. She got an auditory. Oh yeah, we'll talk, we'll do that later or next week when he's not around. My bad. Go, go Google. That's trading after dark. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um. All right. I I don't know where our esteemed um friend is right now, but let's go to some questions and then we'll figure it out. All right. Oh, this is. Uh, I gotta reclaim it from. One second, and I'm just reclaim holes from you. Then I can take some questions. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>